Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept series and parallel circuit calculation. Series and parallel uh, elements how to calculate if it is the resistor, the circuit uh, the network circuit element is the resistor, inductor, and the capacitor. These are all of the uh, network circuit elements how to calculate it, uh, two net uh, two elements are in series two elements are in parallel now we are discussing first if you go for the basically uh, three network elements is there resistor inductor and the capacitor but here resistor and the inductor is the same two elements are in series same but capacitor is the quite opposite these are the three elements these are all the three two elements resistor and inductor suppose two resistors are in series this is called r1 this is called r2 r equal is equal to r1 plus r2 two resistors are in parallel this is called r1 this is called r2 r equal is equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. R1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Same capacitor is the quite differs. Two capacitors are in series. Two capacitors are in series. C equivalent is equal to C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. Two capacitors are in parallel. Two capacitors are in parallel. These are the C1, this is C2. Two capacitors are in parallel. C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2. Means resistor and inductor in series R1 plus R2. But in capacitor, quite reverse. C equivalent equal to C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. Resistor and inductor is the same capacitor is the quite opposite of resistor and inductor. Uh, the series and the parallel circuit calculation mainly uh, requirement compulsory. I have a one volt one source is required and. Um, Minimum two number of elements is required. The calculation purpose you are looking at the source side, you can calculate. I, uh, I take the, some examples. This is the resistance. This is the source side. This is the source side. You look at this source side. This is called R1, this is called R2, this is called R3. This is the source side. You look at this source side. This is the plus and minus. You look at this source side. You start. The current is flowing. This means the current flowing is series. The R equivalent is equal to R equivalent or R total is equal to. These two are in series. R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2. These two elements are in series. R equal to equal to R1 plus R2. Some example. Now we are closing this one. Now we are closing this one. How? You look at this source side. You look at this source side. These two are in parallel. These two elements are in parallel. Resultant, this is series. How? The This is called R1, this is called R2, this is called R3. This is the source side. You are looking at this side. You are looking at this side. These two networks are in parallel. How circuit is given? You look at this side. This is the source side. This is called R1. This is called R1. These two are these two are in parallel. These two are in 
parallel. These two elements are in parallel. How to calculate the parallel two resistance? R2 parallel with R3. These two elements are in parallel. These two elements are in parallel. Final commit will come. Next, power source is coming. Series. Three elements are in. Finally, R equivalent is equal to. Finally, R equivalent is equal to. R1 plus R2 is. This is called R equivalent. Means R2, R3 are in parallel. R2, R2, R3 in parallel. Resultant is the this resistance this resistance and this resistance in series total resi total uh, resultant r1 plus this resistance adding then you will get r equivalent circuit then you will get r equivalent circuit Next one more circuit. This is the source side. You look at this side. This is the source side. You look at this side. This is called R1. This is called R2. This is called R3. This is called R4. How to calculate the R equivalent? How to calculate the R equivalent? First, you will modify these two circuits. These two are in modify. Modify. This is the R equivalent plus minus. This is the source side. This is the source side. This is called R1. This is called R2. This is called R3. This is called R4. These two are in parallel. These two are in parallel. R2 is parallel with R3. Then how to modify circuit? This is plus, this is minus. You are looking at this side. This is called R1. This is called R4. This resultant. The resultant R2, R3 parallel to R2, R3 are in parallel. That is the resultant. That is the resultant. Then these two are in series. These two are in series. Next, how to modify the circuit? This is called uh, this is called source side. You are looking at this side. This two, this is called R1. This is called R2 is parallel with R3. This is the result. This is the R4. Now these two are in series. These two are in series. R1 plus R2 parallel with R3. R1 plus R2 parallel with R3. Final argument will come circuit. You are looking at this side. This total resultant is called here. This is called R1 plus R2 parallel with R3. This is called as R4. These two are in parallel. These two are in parallel. 
फाइनल का आर इक्वल इंटी इक्वल टू फाइनल का आर इक्वल इंटी इंटी इक्वल टू दिस टू आर पैरेलल मिस आर वन प्लस आर टू पैरेलल विथ आर थ्री पैरेलल विथ आर फोर पैरेलल विथ आर फोर दिस इज़ द आर इक्वल इंट ऑफ दिस सर्किट दिस इज़ द आर इक्वल इंट ऑफ दिस सर्किट इफ यू गो फॉर द This is the source set. This is the source set. You look at R equivalent in this set. R equivalent. This is called as R one. This is called R two. This is called R three. This is called R four. This is called R five. How to modify this set? This is the R one. This is called A. This is called B. This is called R one. This is called R two. This is called R three. This is called R four. This is called R five. This is called R five. These two are in series. These two are in series. Series means R two plus. R three. Here these two series means R five plus R one. These two series, these two series. Next, how we will come modify the circuit. This is called B. This is called E. This is called R one. These two result means. R two plus R three. Here result in this R five plus R one. This is called B. This is the source side. Now here these two are in these two are in parallel. These two are in parallel. How it will come side? This is called B. This is called E. This is called R one. These two are in parallel. R two plus R three parallel with R five plus R one. This is the this is. Finally, R equivalent is equal to. Finally, R equivalent is equal to. This circuit how it will get? This circuit is modified into this. This is called A. This is called B. Finally, का R equivalent is equal to R one plus means these two are in series. These two are in series elements. R one plus R one plus R two plus R three parallel with R five plus R one. This total, this total resultant. Plus with R one, this is called R equivalent. In this circuit, R equivalent is equal to R one plus R two R three series. These two series, these two resultant parallel. This is the R equivalent of circuit. This is called R one, R two, R three, R four, R five. In this circuit, how to calculate R equivalent? R equivalent is coming here. R equivalent, R resistance at A B. Resistance at A B R R equivalent. How to calculate? This circuit we can modify into.
This is called R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. This is called A, this is called B. Now finally you can calculate the resistance that you have AVR, the R equivalent. This circuit we can modify. This is called B, this is called J. This is called R1. This is called R2. This is called R3. This is called R5. This is called R4. This is called R4. These two are in parallel. These two are in parallel. These two circuits are in parallel. These two circuits are in parallel. Next. How it will get the modifiers? Resistor. This is called B. This is called A. This is called R1. This is called R1. These two are in parallel. Parallel means R2 is parallel with R3. These two are in parallel. R5 parallel with R4. Now, three resistance are in series. Three resistance are in series. The resistance at AB R R equivalent is equal to R equivalent is equal to all are in series means R1 plus R2 parallel with R3 plus R5 parallel with R1. This is the R equivalent of the cycle. This is the R equivalent resistance at AB. This is the way we can calculate the uh, series and parallel. That is to uh, mainly series and parallel is, here is the current in series. Current is uh, we can divide it. That is parallel. The current is coming. Here the current is dividing. Means these two are in parallel. These two are in parallel circuit. We can calculate this way. 